And what's going on? This is your boy Dro Fontaine of Dro Fontaine Music. And I'm back on machine and I figured I'd share another tip with you guys how to create your own custom effects change or multi effect change. You know, I got a lot of emails about the last video I did or doing on um custom effects change. But uh I got a couple of hits. People were saying, uh, could you go a little more in detail with that as far as the routing uh, end of it? So I'm going to go in depth on this one. It's a little more complex on this one. I would say this is more for the advanced users or someone who really wants to jump in and get their feet wet. So to create a Muslim, uh, rather a custom multi effects chain, uh, what you do, for example, let's, I'm, I'm, you know, for the sake of the length of the video, I'll just do, let's say four sounds. So the first thing you want to do, you want to come over here and have a blank group. I labeled this, uh, effects chain. You can have another group for drums or samples, you know, whatever you're doing in your mix, because that's where you're going to be applying your effects chain to. But for right now, let's create the effects chain first. And you see right here, I'm under the sound module and the first tab shows up. The first thing I would do in this order here, I would name sound one, effects one, second one, effects two, effects three and effects four because those you're going to have to go back and change them because in reality in real life you're not going to really know exactly how you're going to align your effects until you're done once you're done with your chain then you would go back well actually effects four I already know that would be a limiter you know um, effects three that would probably be a compressor I'll just put comp, make sure it all fits so we can see it easier. Comp limiter. Um, let's say we wanted this to be a phaser and we wanted this to be more reverb based. Okay, so it gives us a general parameter. Oops, I smell reverb crazy. I need to stop looking at the screen so much. I mean, this uh, keyboard so much. All right, phaser, reverb, comp, and a limiter. Now this gives us a certain set of parameters where we know where we're going. Okay. So on sound one, we want to be on the out or rather the sound module. We want to be on the out tab here and you see the main comes up with the auxes and you also can do aux effects or two or rather you can do aux effects also. So right here on the main, we want to have this set to, um, or rather not main, but uh, on, the, on the first tab, we want to have this set to uh, input, okay, internal. Okay, now to fly through this a lot easier, I would say just go through all of them right quick, set them all to input internal. That way you save a step. All right, so we have each uh, effect that we're going to be chaining on the correct uh, input, which is internal. All right, so now this is the easy part. You just go ahead and you know you set up your effects. For example, let's see, phaser. Let's say if I want a phaser with a filter. Okay, now that's one effect chain. Let's say you know you have these little gray areas here where you can do your automation like so. If you're not on the hardware controller, you see that light up down here, or you can use this knob here on the hardware controller. You would notice say um, an auto write button in the newer models. Uh, so just the one I have right next to the snap button. You can paint it in or that way uh, in your patterns. And, you know, you can go through your patterns and have different modulation effects and, and uh, automation. All right, so let's just say for example, this is our first effect. We have the phaser set with the filter the way that we needed that to be. Now what we would do is we would go back to the out tab. This is where I jumped the gun a little bit. So you would jump over here to where it says group and you would um, select, for example, the phaser would now be routed into the reverb. Because you see the reverb here that we created, the comp as well as the limiter that we created right here. So we go to reverb. Okay, and that gets routed in like so. Okay, so now when we jump over to the reverb, okay, again, we're on the internal, right here, tabs uh, two through four is where we're going to be creating our effect. So if we selected, say, a reverb, 
and we're going to be more or less uh, rather we're going to be more based towards the reverb effects on that you know we would go in here you know do basically whatever you want to do a reverb maybe combine that with like uh metaverb you know something like that you know and again the same principles apply you know you can mute them like so you could turn these effects on go back to the out tab but then we would route this one into the comp notice how it changes up a little bit here comp all right so you know you get the idea the same basic principles apply we would just throw a compressor on this one you know and maybe like a gate you know, or something like that, or a maximizer or something to that effect. And again, we go to the out tab, mount this one to the limiter. Okay. And finally on the last track, now this one changes up a little bit <clears throat> because on the last one, you want to leave the out, uh, well, actually you want to go through and add your effect first. Um, I'll say a limiter because that's what we were just talking about. So then that way we make sure nothing's clipping everything, the transient peaks and everything like that get contained. <clears throat> All right. So now that we got the transient peaks contained with the limiter, so that way it uh, reduces any clipping. Now on the out tab, this one stays the same. This one stays on the group tab. OK, because that's where the multi effects chain is going to be routed all out to from phaser to compressor, to comp, to limiter. Now it's going to the group, okay? And now we can apply our effects chains. You know, we, if, you know if you want to skip the phaser in a chain, you would jump down here to be the reverb because it's gonna be routed from reverb to comp to limiter. If you wanted to skip the reverb and the phaser, you would select here comp and you would get the comp to the limiter if you just wanted the limiter, or if you want to do the whole entire effects chain that you created, you would choose phaser like so and the whole entire effects chain that we just created uh, goes through you know same principles apply you know if you're on another group let's say over here you have some type of um, a sampler or something or you know whatever the case may be you would just you know you have the aux effects here you also could you know do the same thing that way you know if you had like a delay on the drums or something like that you can come back like Let's say over here on group G, you had uh, a delay set up, okay? On drums right here, you might have aux that in, and over here in your aux, it might have said delay. Now, you would be getting the delay effect from your aux, send, while over here on your main, you would be getting the custom multi-effects chain that you um, just created. So you can see the, useful, the usefulness of this, uh, this technique. So other than that, you know, once you got it set up the way that you needed, you would basically just hit play and you would hear your, your custom multi effects chain. All right, so that's it on this tutorial. I'm not going to run too long. This is your boy Drove Fontaine of Drove Fontaine Music. Be sure to check me out on my webpage, which is www.digitalmusic.yolasite.com. I have a VIP membership that's available with no monthly fees. So you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.